Wow, people. I uh, definitely... Another thing that came up last night. This is from the Graveyard Shift. Of course, this was something else that pops up unexpectedly and something I've looked into and something I have experienced. My damn self. Now, either these are what they say they are or there is some type of animal that will make a pattern. Now, I am very aware of rabbits' patterns in the snow. And they look nothing like what we are going to look like look at today. Now there's a whole article here talking about in 1855 England. And they do talk about uh, animals that could have made this other than devil's hoofs. There's only two creatures in the world that make hoof marks. And it should be only two creatures in the world, and that is one, the mighty horse, two, the devil himself. So they claim the devil being half man, half horse, but all in all, something I had found where I lived in Meadowbrook. And over 30 locations, 30 different locations, town south and east ends and this is in England it don't say exactly where I believe but through barns up walls across the frozen exit estuary and even through pipes no more than four inches in diameter local uh, oh yeah local driver jobs <laughs> wrong article Ain't even an article. The job, stupid. The total distance of the tracks was between 400 and 100 miles. Um, been limited in scope and Devon's Devil's Footprints covered up the 100 miles and counts of similar phenomenon throughout the, uh, reaching for as far as Top Sham, Dawlish, Tinge, tinge mouth, or according to some, whatever the hell that is. Some reports it's England. I'm not from England, so don't bash me on that, you jerks. Totens, totness, Torquay, <laughs> Dorset, or Link's, Linkshire, Lincolnshire. Overall, the strange hoof prints were found. Spanning in areas ending from where he went over that 40 to 100 miles. You screen, of course, they find these a lot in the winter. Uh, very uh, the heaviness seemed to be very most agreed. Not only that the previous night was particularly cold, but the thaw occurred something before morning, which they have allowed animal tracks to become distorted. And it goes on, of course, and then we have this thing right here. Because the foot hoofs that they find are literally one in, no one in front of another. They're not side by side. They claim these things are in front of one another. And of course, this is something that someone might have drew long ago. Let me Wikipedia public domain. I don't know who friggin' drew this. Someone have had to have a, an encounter with it. Uh, it goes on to say, you know, miles long path. Would later claim and took to staying indoors after dark after out there finding this. Seemingly substantial in 1957 when he, uh, an anthrop anthropologist and a f physical researcher reported hoof prints found in Devon Beach. 18, space six feet apart, implying a much longer stride than those reported in 1855. Uh, detail and tracks she found in her parents' garden or dis uh, 
description match the devil's puts in 1855 almost exactly so you know it goes on of course to say all that people you know looking into this People are starting to get, you know, venturing outside. And first-hand accounts of the event are rare and vile in mystery. So here the hoofs drawn, drawn. I don't know who drew these. I don't know how far back and dated, but as you can see, one in front of the other. Scale feet. I mean, I'm going to stop it there because, no, I have did cover this before I don't, I don't know did I shit I don't even remember but because this is new and updated and the reports of being in England now I'm gonna go into my photos and show you what I have for still got these photos if they will come up hello yes thank you bang here we have my hoof prints literally this now and as you can see as it said in that article the melting of the snow the next day it is similar to this as you can see it looks very melted like it's you know melting getting down to ground these things stick into the friggin snow very deep and one in front of the other now Based on this picture, these were the only two tracks due to a lot of heavy traffic of walking in front and in behind these two footprints. It was all, you know, disturbed. Everything was messed up. Everything was, there was all different foot, regular feet prints going on and so forth. And hold on a minute, I will be back. And how was your vacation going today? <laughs> but. Like I said, everything around these are regular footprints. People walking their dog footprints, and I was even lucky enough to catch these two footprints. Of course, immediately when I took the picture here, you know, I'm staring at it and like, damn, that. <laughs> Don't ask me why or how or why or what and when. But to me, seeing these and now having all these stories coming up, it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa what the. F insane. It is insane. Of course, I took the uh, pen out, circled them, but clear as day, if there is an animal that can make these kind of tracks, it would be very interesting to find out what and how it was made, but rabbit marks do make these kind of tracks in the end of the, uh, right, you know, where the base is, where it's open, but up at front, to tell a rabbit's track, they will have another base uh, track that will not connect with any of this, but it will be straight directly in the middle of the uh, U. Actually, let me take my pen out. Show you what I mean here. So, say so right here, you will see a, a like a, uh, damn it, too thick. It would be right where this is, but right directly in the middle. And it will be the front paws, both like so. And then the back paws here would be like that, but literally it's pushing itself with its front paws, you know, you know, both together in the middle. And the feet push on the back, of course, that are wide open. So that's a rabbit's track, and this is definitely not no goddamn rabbit's track. But it, whatever, and if there is an animal, maybe, maybe, that can do this form or whatnot, it would be nice to know what it is, because being that small, being out in that cold of, you know, air and winter, rabbits, of course, tend to have fur, and they obviously dig themselves out of their rabbit holes to look for what they can for food. I thought they hibernate, but they do hop around. But other than that, seeing this, like I say, hoofs, individually, both, same, bang, bada boom, bada bing. And seeing these, one in front of another, there's nothing side by side, as you can see, as clear as day. 
right once again as you can see straight on up you're gonna mess me up here thank you there's nothing indicating over here there's nothing indicating over here straight on up one in front of the other so I'm just saying whatever damn animal that could make this from 1855 till now it would be nice to find out but other than that people are insisted that this is a devil's hoof and like I said everything up on top this way and everything top that way was already disturbed I was like I said even lucky enough to get this so I mean that being said now that article came out last night mind you of the devil's hoof you know it's got me thinking I've been doing a lot of traveling and a lot of getting around in areas and I don't know if I even attracted something from even Littleton Mass because they claim that there's some set of woods out there that the English would not go into because uh, uh, Willard himself heard noises from his home from them woods um, and for Dan, they even, I don't know, they claimed, I guess, even in the book of the great powwow that it might have been the devil himself. So, whatever the case may be, like I say, I have these pictures still in my possession. The, well, this picture, one in front of the other. What, what animal is out there that does this? I would love to know because it is definitely not a rabbit. Actually, just this winter, I saw rabbit tracks out in front of my window, distinctively made a tracks and made it look very, very strange because some disappeared and the other one stopped in front of my window and didn't go nowhere else, so. <laughs> but a wonder, but a wonder, but a wonder if even the skinwalkers, maybe, maybe, because... What was it? Uh, I was gonna show something here. No, this is cool. What was that? Uh, you know, I stopped at the uh, <laughs> Kimball Farm. Someone did the Black Sabbath on their phone for website name, a Wi-Fi name. That was pretty cool. <laughs> Gold Colt State Park. I'm still looking into that. No, uh, there was something else I had. Um. That's going to be funny. I got to keep it people in suspense on that one. <laughs> but, uh, damn it. Nah, where the hell did it go? I can't find it. Ah. But there was something I read. There's something I did screenshot and have to do over. Do with it. I don't know. Did I get it? Hopefully. I didn't. But there was another article that someone claims of skinwalkers. But they don't say skinwalkers, but to me it reminds me of goddamn skinwalkers. And, uh, I think it's in this video, too. Yeah, it is. About something out in the woods and the mother and son, if anybody wants to check this out. Uh, to me, it sounded like skinwalkers all day. I want to check that out if I check this top five unknowns channel and... There's the title of it. But there isn't something in there that reminds me of skinwalkers. So, I mean, these damn things, man. Uh, to me, getting very, very big. And whatever this is right here, hell. What, how do you know a skinwalker don't have hoofs? I mean, they're supposed to be wolves and everything. And dem demonic spirits and everything. but And humans, but hell. You're messing around with evil. How do you know if that ain't skinwalker feet? Because them things are bone skinny. Um, looking for walking type wise. Maybe they can walk in front of each other. Whatever it is. If, whatever this creature is or this damn animal is. If it is a creature. Kind of reminds me of a woman in high heels walking down the catwalk when they gotta walk their feet in one in front of the other. So that's kind of like a. <laughs> what is it? A satanic woman, maybe? Witch? I don't know. Whatever, you know, the devil's a little sissy and walks like a. <laughs> down the catwalk! But, anyways, in all seriousness, 
I'm just, I'm just mesmerized of catching these two damn things and feet printing the snow hoofs. Leading to this. Hmm. The devil's footprints, huh? Now I gotta figure out where I can show my footprints to somebody, but until then, until that next video, be safe, take care, beware, and watch out. Y'all know what's out there. Devil could be wandering out.